What's up guys, another Tyware review here, this time looking at the Canon EOS M6 mirrorless. With excellent specs and a great handheld size, we love taking this one out to capture absolutely stunning photos. The EOS M6 is a successor to the M5 released last year. The main difference between the two is the EVF, which was removed from the M6, as well as a 7000 baht cut to the price tag. These two things certainly help the EOS M6 to bring mirrorless cameras to a wider demographic. It's just as good as a DSLR, but smaller. The camera we're looking at today comes with an EFM 15-45mm IS STM kit, a nice compact lens that pairs well with the camera's small and easy to hold body. Since it's a compact lens, you need to unlock the lens and rotate it all the way out before using. And when you're all finished and want to remove it, reset the lens lock and rotate it back in. With a small and easy to carry camera, it's possible to hold the camera and zoom in with a single hand or even reach out through the crowds of people and snap your shot with one hand, just like a compact. I do, however, have one complaint about the design of the camera. The stacked dial design is set so the top dial controls aperture, while the bottom dial controls settings. The issue is that when you're trying to change one, you end up rotating both. There is a solution though, be careful. Just kidding, there's a technical fix that you can use too. Just turn off the bottom dial's control by using AV or TV mode. This camera not having an EVF isn't really a problem since the EOS M6 comes with a sizable 3 inch screen that gives you plenty to look at. The picture is very clear even on sunny days when other cameras are crippled by glare. The screen is also a touch screen that allows you to select your area of focus. The touchscreen also provides a quick and easy way to access settings. Additionally, the EOS M6 screen can swing down up to 45 degrees for high angle shots and can swing up up to a full 180 degrees for low angle shots. And of course, with a full 180 degree swing, you can always use it for selfies. Let's have a look at this using the self-portrait scene mode. The EOS M6 has several scene modes, including portrait mode for photographers who focus on taking pictures of models. This mode will load in the ideal settings for taking portrait style pictures. Let's see this in action. You can get really beautiful pictures from the kit lens, but it doesn't have a wide f aperture, which is normal. You can see how this causes the background and model to blend together, so you have to be sure to use a plain background to differentiate from your model. The Canon EOS M6 uses a Digic 7 processor, capable of capturing 7 pictures per second. The camera is also equipped with a dual pixel autofocus, which is blazing fast and great at tracking moving objects, making it a great addition to a sport photographer's camera rack. Now let's see some examples of the camera's 7 picture burst mode. As you can see, the camera's tracking focus is really impressive. Another scene mode that the EOS M6 does right is the panning mode. This mode pairs well with the dual pixel tracker and is especially good for taking photos of moving objects like cars. It creates that need for speed blurred background without losing clarity on the target. Let's have a look at some of those pictures now. Additionally, Canon's use of the Digic 7 processor greatly helps to reduce noise when taking photos in darker settings. After playing around with the camera and testing it in different settings, I was surprised with how well the noise reduction really worked. Even high ISO pictures were no trouble with the Digic 7 processor. The EOS M6 ISO can reach up to 25,600. ISO we could reach in dark settings was 6400. Any higher than that and you'll see a little more blur and lower quality images. 
The Canon EOS M6 comes with three wireless modes, Wi-Fi, NFC, and Bluetooth. Wi-Fi can be used on either Android or iPhone software and allows you to access the remote shutter and live view, allowing you to see the screen from your phone. You can also copy pictures to your smartphone over Wi-Fi for editing and sharing to your social networks. Connecting over NFC offers all the same features of Wi-Fi, but obviously only works for NFC-enabled phones. To connect over NFC, touch the phone to the back of the camera. Bluetooth is the last of your options to connect your phone to your camera. Bluetooth offers photo transfer and remote shutter, but not live view. The one perk for Bluetooth is that it consumes less battery than the other methods. The Canon EOS M6 films in Full HD 60fps 1080p. While Canon can do 4K, they feel that these specs are the most approachable for the computers that their consumers have. The video is still amazingly clear and sharp, giving you bright and beautiful videos through your mirrorless lens. The camera also comes with an external microphone, just like DSLR cameras, for clearer audio when filming. So what do you think? The Canon EOS M6 mirrorless semi-pro camera is small but powerful, taking clear and beautiful pictures. If you would like to see more pictures or learn about the camera, be sure to read the review at this link here. So that's all we have for you today, see you next time!